Yar, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Pixel Pirate. Today, we are actually going to finish up what we were start, what we had started last episode. Um, we are going to go ahead and, first of all, come down by the Tinker's Construct stuff. Now, I was remembered by one of my stream viewers um, that you can actually make large patterns and any of these patterns out of cobblestone. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump down here and. Um, mine a, just a little bit of cobblestone just so we can we can have some to work with here um, and then once we do that we can make our molds and we can set everything in place which i think will be very awesome but before we actually make our final sword we're gonna have to take a little trip um on our uh airship so that uh, i don't know actually let's grab a little bit more just to be safe you know uh better safe than sorry we'll grab that many pieces 21 pieces um and let's go ahead and climb back up the ladder now what we're going to do is, like I said, we're going to make the molds out of cobblestone. Oops, I apologize. I went around the wrong way. No big deal. Uh, and so we drop those guys in there. And there we get our stone plate. You see how that took up eight resources there. That's uh, that's what I meant by uh, that. And anyway, so now we have our uh, plate pattern. Let's go ahead and take uh, our sword blade and make a pattern out of that guy. Um, actually, you know what? Uh, I don't know that we need the sword blade pattern. Now that I think about it, uh, I, we don't. Because I think I know what I would like to make the sword blade out of. And that can be, I believe, put in right into the crafting table. But we are going to want to make this guy out of... Um... No, you know what? I'm wrong. We do we do want this one. I apologize. Uh, we'll take a, a stone sword blade. And then we will. Uh, we want this guy to be made out of um, what, what the other thing I'm going to call it for right now. Also, we're going to need a two rod pattern. But we're not going to use actually... Um, cobblestone for that we're gonna need to um, go ahead and grab some paper i believe we have some up here if i'm if i'm remembering correctly let me just go ahead and quickly check our chests oh and we do not uh do we have yeah we have a um Ooh, it's nighttime okay well we have uh, we have a sugarcane farm let's go ahead and grab grab some sleep and we will run over to our sugarcane farm and get that all sorted out Really quick, uh, so what we're, what we're doing is actually we're trying to grab paper. I think I already said that, yes, I did. Um, we're trying to grab paper, and if you add paper to a tool, it actually makes it so that you can um, add another modifier to that tool. Now, if you make it out of the handle, it's, it's, it's probably the best one um, because I believe it is the smallest piece that you can um, modify. Now, let's go ahead and uh, line up a paper, and I'll show you. We'll make some because I'm not sure exactly how many it makes, uh, takes to make the tool rod. I'm sure we'll find out here in a second. And there we go. We got our paper tool rod, and it takes only one. Okay, so that's not too bad at all. Now, we have that. Now, let's go ahead and create uh, our mold for for our blade we're gonna want our blade out of iron so let's go ahead and oh that iron should be pouring hmm oh you know what I am wrong we actually need a gold um, let's go let's go ahead and run upstairs um, and check if we oh no it's actually down here I I, I uh, I'm a little bit lost today no big deal uh, it is gold so we're gonna we're gonna throw some gold ore we're not gonna need a lot but you do need you need you need gold ore in order to make your first um, your cast your first cast we're gonna need the sword blade cast so let's go ahead and do that and we'll also drop our ingot cast down right in here now let's go ahead and uh and hop on our airship while we wait for that to cool down we're gonna go back up to the um we're gonna go back up to that slime island right over there now i remember last episode we had problems with our oop airship you know what we're supposed to be inside uh, i thought we had dropped it on the ground but i remember now that we bailed out right above our building uh, or of, of, of our base uh, apparently uh, here it is. Now we're gonna have to use some water to get up in here, but it's not a problem. Let's go ahead and swim up. Hopefully that doesn't ruin too much. Looks like it got a hold of some torches, but it's not a terrible, terrible loss. Okay, now um, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, first, I want to check this. I guess we'll put we'll put some coal in the steam engine. Uh, assemble ship, and we're gonna mount the ship. There we go. Now we are in the ship. Um, now remember last time we couldn't go up or down. It was because our key bindings were actually off. Um, I was reminded of that, uh, so thank you very much for the help from that person. Let's go ahead and um, press X, and it, we should ascend, and then Z, and we are descending. Awesome. Okay, so yes, that, that is working now. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you um, for all the help. So let's go ahead and go up to our slime island, and um, we are going to actually, I remember last time I said I wanted to grab something and I, I thought I had grabbed the correct thing but I didn't uh, what we're looking for is is are those slime blocks Ooh, I'm going down apparently um, are those are our 
we grabbed the congealed purple slime when that's not really what we want to be using that is used just for like showing uh, uh it like looks nice but it's not really used for anything uh what we do need to grab is what the quote unquote tree object on the island is you'll see um here when we get up here it's not really a tree it's supposed to look like one um but it's it's made out of slime uh you can see that it's it's got a purple trunk and that's what we are here to harvest right now let's hopefully not crash slow down slow down slow down there we go and let's go ahead and nope Oop, we are caught on that tree i believe so let's get out of the way of that a little bit no problem and then we'll go ahead and just slowly come back down and i believe like i said i believe it's k yes and we'll align it and then we will uh we will hopefully be able to dismount it without dying uh there we go um let's go ahead and jump off the ship i guess uh that is free floating so let's work quick so we don't lose our ship up here um like i said we just grab some of this this is what we really need is the congealed green slime now i believe congealed green slime can be dropped in here and it will be made into its slime balls or i believe you can make um you can make uh, what is it? It's, sl it's slime something. Uh, give me a second. We will check our NEI, which we can turn uh, on and off. Oh, it looks like I, I can't. But if we just press R over this, it will tell us everything we can make with these guys. Come on. Tell us. Come on. I know you can cook it. Don't. <sighs> Whoa. Whoa. Sorry about this. Um, I, I believe when you cook this, it makes uh, slime uh, slime crystals. I believe are the name of them. And uh, I'm going to have to go ahead and obviously check that now for you guys so that uh, we don't get all the way back and need to come back to the island again. So just give me a second here. Okay, so I apologize. I actually had missed a step. And it looks like we are going to need to make slimy mud. Now, this ship is going to come crashing down if I don't go ahead and ascend a little bit before we descend here. Um, now, with slimy mud is made using a piece of dirt, a piece of sand, and then... Um, Two, two uh, four slime balls in the crafting table. I'm sure I'll go ahead and show that to you guys here in a second once we hit the ground. Um, yeah, and so so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make these slime scales, or, or I believe that's what they called. And uh, one second, yeah, no, they're called slime crystals. I apologize, uh, I was wrong about that. Slime crystals, and what we do with those is we're going to use it to make our our blade cover or our our hand cover. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Um, our handguard, that's what it is. All right, we, it's, it, we're, we're using it to make our handguard. Um, it, it increases the durability of the weapon. Uh, I'm not sure really that it will help the sharpness of the weapon. So um, we're not going to go ahead and add that. But what we are going to add is after we land, uh, hopefully we can once again align here and uh, disassemble this time because we want to leave the ship here. Um, now hopefully we'll be able to get, yeah, we can totally get back up to the airship there. Okay. So let's go ahead and go into our chest and see if we can't get some dirt and some uh, some dirt and some sand. There's our sand. We're not going to need that much, so we'll just grab a little pile of it. And how do we not have dirt? Okay, good thing. Uh, I think I saw some dirt down below, unless that was a different material. No, I did not see dirt. Okay, it was this. Um, so let me go ahead and find some dirt for you guys, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I found dirt in our chests. I, I, I was like, oh, it's weird that we have no dirt. I found five pieces of dirt. That should do it just fine. And now I am remembering that we have been holding our cobblestone in that barrel. I always forget that. We got we to gotta, we gotta work on remembering that. It's not a big deal, though. Uh, let's go ahead and make these into our slime balls. And now remember, it's going to be four and then dirt and sand. And we get our slimy mud. Now we're going to take that slimy mud and we're going to run on over here to our furnaces uh, and cook it real quick. I don't know that we have anything to cook with. Oops, did not mean to drop that in there. So we're going to drop a stick into there and then let's go ahead and check our chests. I'm sure we have a fuel source here. Uh, we can just use these guys for now. Uh, I know we're running low on, on resources, so yes, we will need to go down and adventure in a mine soon, uh, at which point I will be adding Vein Miner to this pack. Okay, and there you can see we have our slime crystals. Um, let's go ahead and I think we're gonna we're gonna want to grab two. No, let's let's wait for three just in case, um, just to have the right number. Uh, just you know, just in case we 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 don't have enough, uh, we don't have to keep coming back up. Now, remember we had that gold cooking, which is very awesome. We'll let these other two sit in there. It's not a big deal. Uh, we had those uh, that gold in there. Now we'll put the gold to the bottom and we'll go ahead and pour our cast. Now this is like the sword blade cast. 
there we go. And now you first right click it, you get your sword blade back, which is cool. Uh, and then you click it again, and obviously you get the cast back. But we don't want that. We actually want uh, not obsidian. I apologize. We want iron in there. The iron is, uh, I think, one of our strongest things. Unless you know what, I think we can grab some diamonds, and I think diamonds will melt in. But I'm not for sure. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and run some tests here. We're just running running a few tests, um, and we'll see if. If that's the case, I I honestly don't think that diamond is gonna cook up in there. But we'll leave we'll let it sit in there for a second. Uh, we'll and we'll see if that works here. Um, but first, let's I mean while we wait for that, let's let's go ahead and do this and we make a slime full guard. It was three. I was correct. I figured that much. Okay, so now we have our paper tool route, our slime full guard, and we have a stone sword. But we're not gonna use the stone sword. We are going to use. Okay, yeah, it looks like I was right. Diamonds are not gonna work. We're gonna need. We're gonna be able to use this iron. Let's go ahead and pour the iron in this cast. Now we'll let that cool, and we'll run back upstairs and put our diamonds away because diamonds are very valuable, and we're pirates, so we want to hoard all that kind of thing. Um, let's go ahead and go downstairs. I'm sure that's done by now. Let's go ahead and grab that out. Sweet. Now we have the three separate pieces to our sword. Now if we go ahead and go in here and we go to this sword right here, we're going to go ahead and put this, this, and this in here. And there we go. We have our cutlass. Now a cutlass is a traditional, um, a traditional weapon of the pirate, which is very awesome. Now you see it says writable and reinforced. Now the, I believe the reinforced one comes from the slime full guard if I'm not incorrect. But before we do that, I wanna go ahead and check something. So we're gonna go ahead and take that cast out and let's go ahead and pour a mold for the full guard um, before I go ahead and make a mistake here because it possibly could, it could be possible that we could get a better reinforcement than that um, on this without having to, um, without, without, needing to do one of our steps. Okay, so let's go ahead and check this again. And boom, there you get reinforced three. Now that is much better than what was before. Uh, I was incorrect when I said, I think you wanna use the slime the slime blade. So we kinda did that for nothing, but that's okay. Uh, we, we live, we learn, right? Uh, so let's go ahead and add some things to this blade. Now remember it says writable. So you can see over here, it says four modifiers remaining. Originally, if we did not have the paper handle, then it would be three modifiers remaining. Now modifiers include, um, uh, some smaller things, but we'll go ahead and start one here. Now remember we went ahead and made that plate. Now if we go over here and we put this plate in here, it will uh, repair modification. Uh, change the tools, please. Okay, so anyway, so this is the material. It'll bas It basically should uh, reinforce uh, the cutlass or add reinforcement, but it's not. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is uh, whenever the plates, I believe, are used for some other tools uh, that are used in a different crafting bench, uh, to be honest. And But what we're, what we're doing right now is we're going to just take the molten obsidian and we're going to lay down our thing here and let's go ahead and make it out of uh, our gold first. So we have our cast. Now this will fill up and I don't know if it will change colors. I'm pretty sure it won't. But I'm not 100% sure on that. Yeah, I won't. So let's go ahead and take our cast out now. Uh, we do not need that stone, but we'll keep it just in case. And then we'll go ahead and change this over to obsidian, and we'll go ahead and pour it. Now that is making, instead of a stone large plate, we're making an obsidian large plate. Now obsidian large plates are known to add reinforcement, which is basically like the durability enchantment in our, the, the yeah, the, the unbreakable, uh, the unbreakable enchantment. Uh, enchantment in uh in regular vanilla minecraft so now you see we go ahead and add that and we get reinforced one and that is the first step to what we want to add to the sword um we're gonna go ahead and uh pour some more i think we won't have enough obsidian because it takes eight per plate unfortunately so i that is really annoying that that is in there isn't it uh i'll, I'll take care of that in a minute though so basically um what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and try to find some more obsidian really quick for you guys and um, we'll add no actually I think we're good on reinforcement because reinforcement 4 is good um, you're not gonna get much better than that but what we do need is we do need obsidian to go to the nether because the next step of what we need is in the nether so let me go ahead and grab some obsidian for our portal and I will be right back with you guys obviously after I sleep at night now that I think about it, I remember last episode we brought a bucket of lava and the bucket of water back to base so that we could create our own obsidian generator. So we'll go ahead and do that when I get back as well. All right, now on my run back, I figured I would go ahead and explain a few things to you guys. There are other modifiers. You saw me add the obsidian plate to our cutlass. Uh, let me go ahead and carry that so we can take a look at it and see what it looks like. Uh, let's go ahead and look at it actually from the outside too. It's actually very cool, very, very piratey weapon. I like it a lot, um, but I thought I would go ahead and 
explain a few more things to you guys about the Tinker's Construct um, modifiers. You saw me add the plate. The plate adds reinforcement clearly, um, but you can also add nether quartz is what, you, is what we are headed to get with our 14 blocks of obsidian to make another portal. Um, and then you can also make... You can also add a lot of other things. Uh, I'm just going to go over a few. There's the ball of moss, which makes it auto um, repair itself, which is something that I'm willing to add if we can find uh, some mossy cobblestone. Uh, you can add diamond to, re to increase the tool's durability. Um, and you can add an emerald to increase the tool's already durability by 50%. So you're going to want to add the diamond and then add your emerald if you're going to do that. Pistons add knockback. Um, and then there are a few like of the kind of secret, uh, or not really secret, but the, but the more expensive ones. And uh, I'm trying to think of where we're going to sit down this ender portal. Because I do not know if I want it in our house making a ton of noise. So let's go ahead and uh, set it down right out here in the backyard um, just for now. What, what I was saying, sorry about that. Um, there are a few things that you can add that will make um, a little bit more. Uh, like, you know how I added the, 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 I apologize. You know how I added the paper for an increased modifier? You can actually do that with a few other, other things. Uh, you can go ahead and add a piece of diamond, I think. I think it's one diamond and... Uh, a gold block and that will add another modifier that will allow you to um, obviously add another element to the uh, to the item that you built uh, as well as you can this is this is one of the one of the crazier ones that was just recently added to Tinker's Construct uh, an enchanted golden apple plus a diamond block so that one's gonna be a little bit more expensive but for clear reasons I mean every modifier you add is gonna is gonna be you know even better for your weapon uh, and then finally the last thing that you can add that can add another um, another another uh, entity onto it is a wither star so uh, clearly if we added a wither star to this it would say four modifiers is, is trying is kind of what I'm trying to explain um, but you know what we do have? I think we have enough for a block of gold and a diamond. So why don't we go ahead and do that right now? Um, I think we have more gold in our um, in our smeltery. So let's go ahead and grab these guys though and uh, come downstairs. Actually, we have some more in this chest, don't we? We do. Awesome. Okay, so we're only going to need nine, remember, because it's only a block of gold. And we'll also put our golden nuggets up here. Uh, let's go ahead and go into our crafting table and make our block of gold. And you will see exactly what I'm talking about with this. Um, we'll just go ahead and drop this. Now, remember I said the diamond is its own modifier, so be careful not to just add it like that. You need to have both pieces, you see, and instead of saying, uh, instead of saying three modifiers, it will say four modifiers so let me go ahead and take those out i'll show you see three modifiers and then it will say two modifiers if you only want to add the diamond but if you have both you get four modifiers which is very cool uh it's something that we we are going to want to take advantage of now what we are going to do is we're trying to go to the nether to um obviously uh i don't know how to explain it to obviously go and pick up our nether quartz so that we can we can we can uh add that to our weapon uh but I have to warn you that it does take quite a bit of nether quartz in order to um, make a difference on the weapon. Uh, and you can, I think it's up to 250 pieces of nether quartz per. So there is something that I think we're going to want to craft before we go ahead and go. But I'm just going to make the flint and steel for us right now. Um, there we go. Okay, now before we go, we're going to want something that does uh, a little bit more looting. And and obviously our pickaxe is nice, our diamond pickaxe is nice. But we don't want to waste it on all this nether quartz. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add lapis. But I don't know how we're doing on our lapis count. So why don't we go ahead and work on forging a pickaxe first of all. Um, I believe this will be fine um, because we want to make the pickaxe head out of obsidian. And then we're going to want to... Um, add quite a, a few more things. We're going to need the tool rod, I believe. Uh, let's go ahead and check the pickaxe recipe. We are going to need a tool rod and a tool binding. Now, let's make the tool rod out of paper again because I think that was the best choice um, that we could do. And then I don't know what we should make the binding out of. I'm not sure if it's good to make it out of obsidian because I know you make the head out of obsidian. So maybe if we make the binding out of... Oh, we don't have a binding now, do we? I mean, we, we can make one very quickly. Yeah, let's go ahead and make one then uh, with our craft with our um, stencil table. Uh, that the binding is this the binding? Is is that the pattern of the binding? I don't think so. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I didn't I didn't want to take that out. Hmm. 
Okay, remember we had some blank patterns in here. And let's go ahead and add this guy in. And we need to find our tool bindings. There it is. That's very easy. Sorry about that. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and create that out of paper as well and see if that is, is helpful or if, if we're better off just... Um, Oop, almost almost did that poorly. Um, we're going to go ahead and leave the gold at the bottom, and we're going to take out this plate, hopefully. Come on, give me that plate, please. Uh, it thinks I'm trying to pour, I think. Oh, no, you know what? I remember now. Remember there is obsidian in that, so let's go ahead and break that. Uh, we do waste the obsidian by breaking that, unfortunately, but it is something that we needed to do. And now we'll go ahead and take this cactus pickaxe head, because we already have it, and we will pour the gold into there to make a, a, a pickaxe mold. So we can make the head of the pickaxe. Now let's go ahead and grab the cactus back out, remember, and we will go to our obsidian, drop that to the bottom, and we will pour that. And there we go. Now we have an obsidian pickaxe head. So now let's go ahead and combine these, and I think it will make it so that it has four or, or five automatically, but I'm not for sure. We may want to change the binding on it. Oh, actually, yes, I was right. Okay, so see how it says five modifiers now? If we did not make that out of paper, it would have said four. So let's go ahead and take that. And now I know it's beneficial to obviously put our obsidian plate on there. So why don't we go ahead and take this out and replace that with our large pattern and go ahead and pour that as well. Um, and then there are some other modifiers that will help picks and picks alone. For instance, if we add, like I was saying, lapis, lapis will add fortune or looting, uh, depending on which one you use. But uh, we only need to add, it looks like, 100 uh, lapis to get fortune one and 300 lapis to get fortune two and three and 450 lapis to get fortune three. So it is kind of expensive, um, which is which is why we we um oh, I apologize it's not how we're supposed to do it huh um which is why I'm kind of I'm kind of cautious about it but we'll go ahead and combine these so now we have reinforced one on there we're gonna want some more reinforced but first we need to set up our um, obsidian farm thing that we, we want to have going here. But uh, there's other things that we can add as well. Now, if we add redstone, it increases the mining speed of the tool by 0.08 uh, per piece of redstone, I believe. So, so plus four mining speed per 50 redstone is basically what it's saying. Um, and it's basically like having haste on it. Um, so we have some redstone. I don't know that we really want to waste a lot. Okay, so 50 redstone can be added per modifier slot. So why don't we do that? Uh, we're not really using the redstone for anything else right now. And we do want a faster pickaxe because the faster we can pick things up, the better. So let's go ahead and drop that into there as well. Now, that we're going to have to do 50 times. This is actually a trick I should I should teach you guys. Uh, you if, if you do if you do like pieces of redstone like this, you have to pick this up, drop this in, pick this up, drop this in, and you're going to keep hearing the noise. So what I like to do is I like to come on over to our crafting table, and we're going to make our nice blocks of it, and we'll go ahead and grab those. And now we have you'll see we have five and five. So now instead of needing to go through it a ton of times, we can just do it five times, hear that noise five times, and boom, we have a full modifier of haste on it. So now that will pick up things a little bit faster, which is very, very good. Um, and then there's only a few more things that I wanted to add. We, like I said, that lapis, but lapis is very expensive to add looting. So I don't think we're gonna add that one yet. Um, but I think, like I said, we're going to go ahead and set up a, um, oh, there seems to be some enemies outside. So we're going to go ahead and set up a, uh, a lava gen, or a, a, not a lava gen, a cobblestone generator, not, not even a cobblestone generator, sorry about that, an obsidian generator. Now, I, I know I got it confused, but basically a cobblestone generator is the exact opposite of the obsidian generator. So uh, that's why I, I will get those confused when I say them. I apologize if I do. It seems that we have a creeper friend here um, that does not want to die. So let's go ahead and reload this. And then, ooh, ooh, I got knocked off by you and I still wrecked your friend. Sorry about that. Uh, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and set up our, our um, obsidian generator, but we don't want it close to the trees because we don't want the trees catching on fire. So why don't we why don't we step away from the house? Not too much, but just enough um, that that these creepers obviously apparently will be attracted to us. Um, there we go, and then we'll punch them twice. Nice. We are we are doing work on these guys. Okay, now let's make the lava gen. Now a lava gen or a, uh, an obsidian gen. I apologize. Is like I said, made exactly like a cobblestone generator. So what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to have flowing water usually, and then you add your lava here, and that will make obsidian or I mean cobblestone right there. But we're gonna want to do it the exact opposite way. So we're gonna set lava here, 
and then that should be flowing ever and then boom oh wait that's wait a second I'm not gonna lie I haven't built one of these things in a long time so let's go ahead and do it the right way I apologize like I said I believe they're just reverse of each other It looks like I was wrong. Huh. Okay, so I kind of messed up. I made the wrong generator and I ended up making myself a piece of obsidian instead of uh, making multiple pieces of obsidian. Now, this new idea is one that I found on online that should work in 1.7, which is what the version we are in is. Um, now, it says we need a piece of redstone here and we need water flowing like this. You can see there's a hole down there as well, so it's it's running that way. So now, apparently, if we place the lava here, we're supposed to destroy that and create obsidian right there. Very awesome, but uh, we need to get access to that obsidian, so why don't we go ahead and replace that I think and then we can go ahead and dig out over here and I think if we go ahead and replace that as well we'll be all right now hopefully when we dig this up uh, this window will turn into another thing of obsidian um, if worse comes to worse uh, now that I think about it we should probably have a, a staircase up because if this lava starts flowing we're not gonna have time to uh, evacuate really quick so let's go ahead and go ahead and try it now uh, and we will we will see if this works now I don't know if we'll be able to grab it so why don't we um I think this block yeah this block is fine to destroy uh, why don't we get a little bit closer now right when we pick it up I'm gonna back away and we're gonna see if this works um, like I said this this should work but there's no guarantees ever so there we go now let's go ahead and see if that falls and okay I was wrong um, it does replace the obsidian but uh, it looks like I, I can't think of another way to use a cobble gen if you guys know of a way to use a cobble gen if you could like name a video or something that will show me how to do it I know there are ways to make book uh, work once but I want one that that is obviously um, it can it can just continuously be used and picked up um, yeah so if, if you guys know how to do that please let me know um, but you guys, I think I'm going to have to leave you off here. I apologize for not being able to get the Obsidian Generator working, but uh, it looks like we're just about at time. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys liked the video, remember to hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. And uh, we will figure out this Obsidian Generator, and we will get over to the Nether in the next episode in order to collect some quartz. Now, maybe we will go mining in the next episode, and we'll try to find a lot of lapis so that we can hopefully upgrade that pick so we get a lot more quartz when the time comes. Um, but once again, thank you guys for watching. You guys have a great day.